Alright, last, last question. Uh -huh. So basically, um, apostolic Christian, but well, unlike the fact that you know I have to uh, be under a denomination, like, do I really have to claim uh, myself as an apostolic Christian? Or like. No, you have to do what you have to understand that you're an Israelite. You have to understand that God gave you set laws, statutes, and commandments that you have to follow. That's your only thing. You and Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Bring it up! Understand that God gave you one thing for you to do, and that's to repent and keep his laws. That's it. You don't have to claim that you're a Christian or apostolic or anything. You just gotta follow what God says do. Bring what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. Uh -huh. And now, Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? So it says, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? What's your name? Jesus. Jesus, what's your name, brother? Jesus. Okay, Vaughn and Jesus. Listen to what God said. Read that again for the time. And now, Israel, uh -huh. what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? He said, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? Read. But to fear the Lord. So you have to fear the Lord. How do you fear God? Read. Thy God to walk in all his ways. To walk in his ways. Read. And to love him. How do you love God? How do you love God? To follow his commandments. What you think? To praise him? How do you praise him? Praise, I thank him for everything. Thank him for everything? That's what God said. Read. To love him. Uh-huh. And to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Uh-huh. To keep the commandments. To keep the commandments. Oh, that's hey, the Bible calls you on the right hand side. Hey, the Bible calls you on the right hand side. God called it. The Americans call you boys. The, uh, the captivity. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To keep the commandments of God is what you're required to do. You understand that, Kayvon? You understand that, Jesus? So it's not about what you got to do to claim uh, being an apostolic anything. It's to keep the laws of God. Very important. Jesus, you got any questions? No? You, you know one of the requirements that God has for you? Read that here from the top. This is one of the requirements. Read verse 12 again. I want to hear from verse 12. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. What's your name, sis? Kimberly. 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 Free. Free. And now, Israel. Free. Now, what Kimberly. Do, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? God requires something of you, Kimberly. Free. But to fear the Lord. To fear God. Free. Thy God to walk in all his way. Uh -huh. And to love him. Uh -huh. And to serve the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. With all thy heart. And with all thy soul. To do what? To keep the commandments. Your, your job is to keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments. That's what God requires of you, okay? So understand, where did you see yourself on the side? Yeah, I know, on the side. This part side right here. Yeah, this, this side right here. Where do you see yourself on the side? Right here, this is what God calls you. This is what America calls you. Where do you see yourself? Issachar? Mexican? Okay, so you are the tribe of Issachar. Verse 49. You gotta understand your history is in the Bible. You just gotta pick up the Bible and actually understand it because it's all written plain as day. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. 49. 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. You hear that? He says the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Read. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle fly. Because y'all was here first. It says, as swift as the eagle fly. Back then, they represented the eagle. Same symbol that they represent right here in America. They represent what? The long eagle. Back then, same brains. They all had the same thing. Bring it, the eagle. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. It said the tongue that y'all would not understand. Why? Because when y'all was here, y'all wasn't speaking Spanish. Y'all was speaking Hebrew. Bring it up! They came over here with that language. They colonized y'all to that language. Read. A nation of fierce countenance. Uh-huh. 
We shall not regard the person of the old. It said, we not regard the person of the old. Nor show favor to the young. Meaning what? They didn't care how, if you was old or if you was young. They slaughtered everybody. Bring they it didn't up. care. Right. This is a fierce nation that who, who brought them over here? It said the Lord brought them over here. Why did, the, why did God do that to his own people? Why do you think that? Say it again? To have freedom? No. Because you're not free. You're not free right now. God brought, brought them over here because we didn't remember. When you first came up, Lord, the God required you to do something. Right? He required you to keep his commandments. We didn't keep God's commandments. Read verse 15. This is why they actually came over here. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You hear that, Kimberly? Yes. These are curses. God sent them over here because that was a curse because we didn't keep God's commandments. Because that was our, that's our purpose. Our purpose is to keep the commandments. That's our sole purpose to be on this earth. You understand? So you have a job to do and that's come back to God. Let me do the right 30 and 15. You got a job to do. We all got jobs to do. Everything we have to do is to keep the commandments. That's our only purpose. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 15. Uh -huh. See, I have set before thee this day. You see what God said? Read. Life and good. God is setting before us life and good. Read. And death and evil. And death and evil. That life and good is the commandments. God sent us the commandments. If you keep the commandments, you will live. Right. It's not going to... It's not hard to do. Read that again from the top. See, I have set before thee this day uh -huh. life and good uh -huh. and death and evil. Read. And that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God. To love the Lord thy God meaning to keep the commandments. Remember, you're hearing this over and over again. God is commanding us to keep the commandments. That's what God is calling us to do. That's how we love God. To keep the commandments. Read. In his way, uh huh, and to keep his commandments and his statutes, read in his judgment, read that thou mayest live and multiply. So, the whole purpose is for you to live and to multiply by keeping the commandments. That's you don't want right. to perish on this earth. Why go through all this hell on this earth and die and go through more hell and torment? That's no way to live. God said, Keep the commandments and live, read. And the Lord thy God shall bless thee. He said, I will bless you if you keep the commandments. I will bless you. Be multiplied on this earth. Read. In the land where thou goest to possess it. Uh -huh. But if thine heart turn away. It says, but. Read that again. But if thy heart turn away. If you turn your ear from hearing God. Read. So that thou would not hear. Uh -huh. But shall be drawn away and worship other gods. Because you got other things you got to do, right? You don't want to hear God. You don't want to repent. You don't want to change your ways. You stuck, you love the situation that you in. God said, but if you what? If thy heart turn away so that thou would not hear, but shall be drawn away uh -huh. and worship other gods and worship other gods. How do you so-called blacks and Hispanic worship other gods? You serve Caesar Bozier right here. Right. This is how you worship other gods. You serve this image. Y'all do, uh, y'all worship Mary. Y'all got the rosary beads. Y'all worshiping other gods. Y'all don't understand that is a curse that was put upon us because we didn't keep it, the law, statutes, and commandments. Bring it up. Read that again. If thine heart turn away, so that thou would not hear. It says, if your heart turn away, you take the fire, you throw the fire on the floor. You walk up past the prophets while they're trying to teach you and trying to give you the knowledge and the understanding to give you life. Read. But shall be drawn away and worship other gods uh -huh. and serve them. Uh -huh. I denounce unto you this day. God said, I denounce. Read. 
should surely perish. He said that you should surely what? Perish. Should surely what? Perish. But I thought you wanted to live. I thought you wanted to get the kingdom of heaven. Right. I thought you was tired of the situations that you're going through. I thought you was tired of being shot down in the street. I thought you was tired of working long hours. He said, I, do, I would do what? Verse 18. I denounce unto you this day uh -huh. that you shall surely perish. He says, if you don't listen, you will perish. Read. And that you shall not prolong your days upon the land. Because you're going you to die. Read. Whether, the, whether thou passes over Jordan to go possess it. Read. I call heaven and earth. God says he called what? Heaven and earth. Read. To record this day against you. So this day is being recorded right now. Your actions this day is being recorded. He says, I will what? Call heaven and earth uh -huh. to record this day Read. against you. That I have set before you life and death. You have life and death set before you. It's time to repent. It's time to change your ways. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.